Okay, everybody, what we're dealing with today is this, a Matrix R9-290X. It's a Radeon card. It's quite old now, but they're still very, 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 very good. The problem these Radeon cards have is temperature. Now, when you're gaming, these cards will shut down, and the reason for that is when Radeon designed them, they used an old heatsink design off an older card, and they never upgraded it. So it's not efficient enough, okay? So if you use it on automatic fan settings... Uh, we'll go in here. Right, so if you go in here and you go to your gaming tab and go down, well, well here's Battlefield 1. Uh, I'll click on that just to open it up. If you go into Profile Watman here, right, okay, this is, I've been, I've been using, the, as you can see, um, recently I was just playing a game. Uh, but anyway, down here. Look, if you do this, now, I've got it set on manual, but it would probably be on automatic. Therefore, the graphics card will try and increase the fan speed to what it thinks it needs. But, because the heatsink is not efficient enough, the, ca the, the card will overheat and it will shut down to protect itself. It won't damage it, what it shouldn't do, if it's set up right. It will shut itself down and protect itself. But it's a real, real pain, okay? So what I've decided to do is make up individual profiles. This one's for Battlefield 1. Uh, I've increased the speed of the fan. So I've just picked a number here um, and set it up. It seems to work fine on that for me. So as soon as you start playing Battlefield 1, as soon as you go into the game, the fan speed increases, the card stays cool, if that makes sense, okay? You just apply it there. Um, you can do that on all your games, Um pretty much you can you can just add a, add whatever you want on there and everything's good i use it on just about everything now because it, it works so much better for me personally uh i've had no shutdowns while i'm using it i'll, I'll put some footage on after this uh using this profile what else do i need to tell you uh da, da, da. profile options uh profile properties so basically what you do is you give it a title whatever you, you'll start a new link Give it a title and give it wherever the game is, the path of the game. As soon as you start that, it will then put them fan settings in and they'll be used. Um, all you do to add a profile is go there, look. Click Add, um, Browse, and you can put whatever you want in. You can go through your computer and you can find whatever you want. Okay, so that's where we're at. I'll put you some footage up of this running with, the, um, with this setting on the computer of Battlefield 1. You'll see the in-game temperatures, and the game will run, run flawlessly. So I'll show you now. Okay, so we're going to have a go at Battlefield 1. The fan speed has increased when the game started. I'll show you the settings I've got in the game. Um, like I say, this is the R9-290X. <coughs> we have taken objective butter. I will quickly show you options, video. There you go, you've got... 1920 by 1080. We have taken and, objective Charlie. And they're all on ultra, all settings on ultra. I cannot give you a FPS in here. I couldn't get MSI after burner to work correctly, so I've not done it. But what I'll do afterwards is I'll show you the, uh, the temperatures again on the readings. Now the game. I'll just show you how smooth it is and how, how nice it looks. I say temperature wise will be fine because of the way I put it set up. We have lost objective Charlie. Yes, the granate. I said this card is a few years old now, but I'll tell you what, they really are good. They really are good. Um, 
Like I say, the only problem is the, the if you have on automatic fan speed, we they overeat. Uh, but that's just a bad heat sink design. It's nothing wrong with the card. So if you've got one, hang on to it. Because I'll tell you what, they are good cards. Wait and see. see. Yeah, I can't show you the frame rate, but believe me, this is really good. Anyway, I'm getting into this game too much, aren't I? I'm supposed to be talking about the graphics card. Uh... Anyway, I'll do. I'll show you the uh, temperature settings. I'll come out of this game. Okay, so where we are, we've just been in the game. I can't make this any bigger, I don't think, this screen. Anyway, here's your CPU clock. You can see what it's been doing. It's maximum. It's minimum. It's GPU fan speed. Uh, the max was 2,578. Uh, it's slowed down now, obviously, uh, because it's come out of there. You could set this to whatever you want. As long as your car do not crash, it doesn't matter. I've just picked a random place. Uh, temperatures, GPU temperatures. Well, there you go. Look. Maximum it reached was 79, is that? 79. Uh, it would have sat, sat happily in the low 80s. Uh, it's when it gets higher than that, it, it tends to put itself into a, a um, self-preservation mode. Okay, guys, so that's it. Hopefully that helps some of you. If it didn't, I'm sorry. But the R9 290X, great card, even now, and the year is 2017. Enjoy your gaming, and I'll see you all on the next video. Bye for now.